defenseman. Well, this one has a 350 rear axle ratio, which means it's not a Super Cobra jet, but there's nothing wrong with that. It is an Arco with the Ram Air, which is a shaker. When it had a standard flat hood, it have a Q-code. Same power, but not nearly as cool to look at. 35 horsepower. You know, the great thing about being a Mustang fan for this first-generation Mustang is you've got the first two years, 65, 66. It's thinner, a little more petite-looking. Then you've got the beefy years, 67, 68. Then you've got the muscle years, 69 and 70. And then there are those who really love the 71 to 73 models. So you really have four distinctive Mustangs in that first generation. You can decide which one do you prefer. And there's no question that the Mach 1s have a strong following from this generation. To that point, Rick, you can always confirm a Mach 1. Look for 05 in the third and fourth spots. A regular fastback to the 02. This is a real deal 05 Mach 1, not a dolled up standard fastback. This one is Calypso Coral. Now, the Boss 302, Ford insisted the race cars be Graveler Orange, but you couldn't order a Graveler Orange 70 Boss 302. You could only get Wimbledon White, Bright Yellow, Acapulco Blue, or this color, Calypso Coral, on your Boss 2. $75,000. The hammer price on this Mustang Mach 1 sports roof. Lots of cars and lots of action in Las Vegas to come. With Barry Jackson. You have a clean Mustang 67, 68 body, but then you have the paint color from the gun 67 seconds going roughly. A few little Shelby components, but a stock 289 and a four speed. It's just really cool. And I love how all the trim is powder coated in this really beautiful pepper gray. And of course, in 67, the Mustang got a little redesign, got a little facelift with this concave look back here. And there's something to be said when you remove all the jewelry, and it's still a beautiful, beautiful look with the Mustang right now. Here you got the Cobra gas. Cap right there. Now, speaking of bullets, yes. speaking of gone in 60 seconds. We were arguing a little bit earlier on which 67 Ford Mustang custom fastback rolling up on the block. The color, pepper gray metallic. Now, this one's pretty nicely set up, a 289 and a four speed. Of course, you see the stock body. It has a little bit of a, everything going on. Of course, the Shelby valve covers. You can see the badges. It looks like a Mach 1 hood. Am I right? Uh, Boss 429 with that big hood scoop. I was born a Seaco 289 two barrel. That was then. Now there's a four barrel on top of the 289. With a set of uh, steel tube headers, letting it breathe a little bit better than the factory cast manifolds. Now Ford never called this body style a fastback. In the first three years, it was called a two plus two. Uh, then it became a sports roof by 1969 uh, and beyond. But we all know what it is. It's a fastback. Nice see the four-speed transmission. It's a major plus. Nothing can connects you to your car like a stick shift and a clutch pedal. It ends under going comprehensive restoration, finishing that beautiful pepper green metallic. I like the bullet vibe that's going on with the grill here. You know, the car that uh, Detective Bullet drove in the movie, Ford wasn't paying the movie people anything, so they took the Mustang and the Chrome Corral out of the grill. But we all knew what it was. Here's a little set of the $65,000 for the 1967 Mustang Custom Fastback with the 289, the four barrel carburetor. All right, this weekend we have sent April Rose out amongst the people to learn a little bit more about what they think about the car collecting.